Okay guys, we're all configured again, still the same way. I have removed all of that big nasty mess of resistors and I'm up to 20 mega ohms across to the ground of the capacitor. Uh, and I'm up to uh, 40 mega ohms across here. And still not what I need, but getting much closer. So I'll turn it on for you. It's just beautiful. It's beautiful. All right, you hear it chattering, doing its business. And we are putting out uh, about 4,200 volts-ish in that cap holding that and across the divider of tw of 40 mega ohm 20 mega ohm divider about 2800 volts uh, from one side of the cap to the other so dropping that has been a dramatic change in resistance and on the output here where we are planning to put into the link capacitors we are looking at let me get right down here so I can Get on the right level. Still about 750 volts. So I'm going to have to add some 2 mega ohm diode or resistors uh, on there until I can get that to the uh, 475 to 500 volts where when this thing is operating like this, the output of the, when it's at full power, and uh, open circuit, the output of this part of the circuit is at the maximum voltage I wish to run this at. And when I go to lower this voltage, this rest of this machine is going to compensate. It's going to pull out of the source, right? But on here now, we'll get hooked this. This will be driven by the 48 volt battery, which also supplies this circuit right and uh, that 48 volt battery turns the circuitry on on this which controls the PV input so you got to put power into that inverter to control this in my understanding I've not hooked it up yet I've had the thing over a year but uh, this is completely stable and if you can't grasp that I don't know what to say uh, I've done my very best to explain every single aspect and show the construction of all of it um, so it's a very simple concept here. It's just that a lot of people get worn out trying to put it together because it's a tricky puzzle. Anyways, um, this also has another effect, and I should be able to demonstrate it here. Just grab this wire. We're just going to, it was just hanging here. We'll just set it on the table here around. This wire is just not rectified, nothing. It's got one little uh, diode here. On the hot side from the red wire just sitting here okay when this uh, device when I turn it off and it collapses and we get those sparks well we actually get a wireless broadcast that charges this capacitor real good and that's a big capacitor it's just sitting there no you know what I just showed you all right let's turn this off should be getting some sparks, but apparently we didn't. There they are. Okay, that's, it's pretty slow sparking, but I've seen that thing hit 25 volts. Now, um, <laughs> so there's more to this than meets the eye, obviously, and uh, Understanding how this works, I'm probably not going to need just one voltage divider, but I have to get the right value and then decide how I'm going to apply this so that it works with this in a constructive manner. So we're going to apply uh, energy to one plate constant from that. That's the goal of this endeavor. It, it, can be a, it doesn't have to be massive power. Because the mass of power is going to come up the earth ground wire. It's nice and small. At high frequency, high voltage, is going to get rectified and going to fly into the capacitor because it's being called. Because here's the whistle and here comes the dog. You know what I'm saying? All right, guys. That's all I got for you. Have a great day.